Okay, Captain. So, here's the new suicide scooter. And I have about a longer ride in. We saw dope. So, I better get going. Kevin here from Bozone Boys. Uh, today I'm going to try and get together all the material I have on a product I bought last April to replace my first electric scooter. I bought a Ego Terra 3200 watt electric scooter. It's a 2x2 two two, which what that means is that there's a motor in each wheel. It goes up to I thought I thought at first it went up to 80 kilometers an hour but it doesn't it goes up to 60. 60 kilometers an hour and it goes 60 kilometers on a charge so the specs say it's 77 pounds but we'll test that and yeah it's a little bit of a rocket it's an off-road scooter considered an off-road scooter and it is a million times better than the first one i bought and this time i took my took about six months eight months to properly test it while hunting um where i elk hunt there's hilly terrain and uh, it's it's pasture, so there's a lot of uh, dense bumps, cow bumps, and use it for most of the year. So then we used it elk hunting. I used it to set up trail cameras. It has a lot of practical uses. So <clears throat> hopefully this information in this video will help you decide if you'd like a scooter. I have some additional accessories for it, which I purchased off Amazon, which I'll feature in the next video. So today's the day. It's minus 10, but uh, I'm going to see if I can get some material out for you. We're a little bit behind. So yeah, I'm going to scoot over there. It's warm enough uh, that the cow pies are still <laughs> hard. They're not quite landmines, but if I'm not careful, I'll bounce over them like a ramp. <laughs> Or, or smear. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. Anyways, all right. Well, hey, good, good luck. luck. Hop on that thing and we'll catch you later. All right, let's uh, walk over to the scooter and take a look at this thing. Talk about the key. So, basic key, similar to a vehicle, you just turn it on. Uh, the display on the, on the camera shows that it's fluttering. It's actually not fluttering, it's a solid state. Uh, you have the battery power here, <coughs> how many kilometers you drive, your speedo and up here it's, I know it's flickering uh, you have a setting one two and three and that is your speed modes so performance is number three and here you have your volts so it's quite intuitive here we have a all important <coughs> horn and then our lights on so the lights are down here they're quite bright. Turn that off. And here's your throttle, is right here. So it's a turn throttle like this uh, to get you moving forward. So down here we have the all important mechanism to take down the scooter. So you bring that forward and 
kicks it out. You have a lever to disengage. See if I can do this one hand. And the scooter folds up for transportation. And for those who hunt with a lot of gear, absolutely know how important this is. So if it didn't fold down, storing and packing and moving this, uh, this vehicle would be difficult. Okay, so I just put the, put it back up and take that lever. And she's set again, solid state. So I talked about having dual motors, so front and back. So similar to a four wheel drive, you have a button up here that says dual and signal. And this is how you activate the two wheel drive, so to speak. So the shocks, as you can see, are quite robust. Um, made for off-road. I got disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes in the front and back. Right there's uh, disc brakes and back. They're hydraulic disc brakes, which is very important because this thing does get up to so significant speeds. And I got a charge port. It's a three pin charge port. And I've had this, uh, the scooter charge within four hours uh, quite easily. The kick plate on the back here is made of metal. It's not plastic. So you put your foot there if you desire, if that's the way you like to, if that's your riding style on the scooter, then uh, this, this piece here will work for you. And a plastic fender, it's good for muddy terrain. The front pouch is a Amazon add-on for $17. And quite frankly, you could put tra uh, trail cameras in there. You can put in um, any sort of uh, tree pegs. Heck, you can fit two Coronas in there. Okay, I can go for a little, uh, going for a rip. I'm gonna be on setting one. I'm gonna see what speeds I get to. Okay, I'm going 18 kilometers an hour on setting one. It's gonna slow her down here. Here's setting two. Going a little uphill. Kind of max out at 35 kilometers an hour. Okay, Whew, it's cold. Here's setting three. Ready? up to 51 kilometers an hour so that's nine kilometers short I'm just gonna put this into dual mode on setting one okay oh. okay that's 20 kilometers an hour
setting two. This is dual. Going 40. And here's setting three, so this is full on, full out, full blown. Ooh. A little uphill. Oh, 53 kilometers an hour. any obstacle has a lot of pulling power um, our test showed that it went 57 kilometers an hour which is three three kilometers short of its spec and I would recommend this scooter for uh, hunting for those who are enthusiasts and looking for an option over an e-bike uh, I can pack down easier than the e-bike as well as uh, can be stored and hidden as well so Anyways, uh, kudos to the E hyphen Go Terra 3 3200 watt e scooter. <laughs>